Merry Christmas from our home in Kodiak, Alaska. I'm Marian Owen. If you've ever wondered how Christmas is celebrated in remote areas, then you're in the right place. Well, actually, we're not that remote. It's true that Kodiak Island is located in the North Pacific, but since we're the size of the state of Connecticut, that elevates us to the second largest island in the United States, second to Hawaii. We're home to brown bears and bald eagles, awesome scenery, and lovely people. In this video, you'll see how Christmas becomes extra special here, from miniature snow people to big boat parades, to hearts carved in snow. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Join me on this little adventure to see Christmas in Kodiak. Let's start with the weather. The week before Christmas, the temperatures dropped into the teens and it snowed. And even Daisy here, who steams from our boiler, had developed a giant beard. And the boats in the harbor coming in from freezing spray developed their own special icicles. But inside was a different story. As you can see from my kitchen, I've got Christmas cactus blooming and also Iceland poppies. In the fall, just on a whim, I dug up clumps of Iceland poppies and potted them up. Around Thanksgiving and through Christmas, I had Iceland poppies blooming on my windowsill. It's also a great time to make orange rhubarb marmalade and vegan pumpkin pie. While outside, it can be as nasty or stormy as it wants. These hoops are protecting plants I had started indoors and then transplanted outside like this spinach. These rhododendrons, they aren't harmed by the snow. And the root zone is protected because I placed rocks or stones around the base of the plants so they wouldn't be as affected by the freezes. But these flowers, they'll succumb eventually. In the winter, I enjoy collecting and photographing snowflakes. It's one of my favorite things to do, to look for fun shapes and surprises like on this spruce cone. Another icon of Christmas, in addition to snowflakes, are these painted eggs, also known as Pizanski. I have to admit though, I do have a special fondness for snowmen, and I go out looking for interesting snowmen or snow people on the top of Pillar Mountain, and sometimes I'll just make a real quick one like even seven inches tall to take their picture. Even this little guy that shared a sunrise with me. But what's Christmas without Santa Claus somewhere? And more snow. I like watching the flakes come down and hit the blades of grass and the water. And I like to see the emperor geese up on the beach. Christmas is a wonderful time to decorate the boats for the Harbor Fleet Parade, the Harbor Lights. Everybody needs a Santa Claus on their stern or a boat that looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And, of course, fireworks. We had a really nice, calm night for our Fleet Parade, our Christmas Boat Parade. I also love to go hiking, though I don't always expect to see Santa Claus's fleet in the parking lot. And we have to be careful for bears because they don't just go hibernate all winter. My favorite park is Fort Abercrombie State Historical Park. It's the site of many World War II ruins and bunkers, which you can see sprinkled throughout the Kodiak Archipelago. And on Lake Gertrude, which froze up pretty solid, we found a heart stamped out in snow. And then something really weird happened right after Christmas. The temperature began to rise. I mean, it got downright warm and I looked at the thermometer in the kitchen. I said, Marty, it's almost 54 degrees out there. The snow melted, the temperature continued to rise, crazy. Before we knew it, it was 67 degrees on December 26th meant for great hiking. And here we are at the other side of Lake Gertrude, and we found this Christmas tree decorated with 
orange slices, and down below the tree on the ground was a beautiful collection of hand-painted rocks. Thanks for stopping by. Let me know in the comments below a little something you hold dear in your heart about Christmas. Meanwhile, may you carry the spirit of Christmas in your heart all year.